<laughs> okay, Dennis, we have, we, this is really fun. We have a, um, we have a viewer who has a, an Omaha garden, and this is Norman. Oh. And he, he thinks he's in the wildlife relocation program from last year's floods. <laughs> And the burrow is probably in the thicket, and he doesn't want him to be gone. He just wants him to stop eating the garden. So he, he likes Norman. Norman's a good visitor, but how, how does he keep him from eating the, the garden and not get yeah. rid of him? Well, Norman is a groundhog or woodchuck, same animal. Um, I don't know if we relocate it, and I don't know if it's a him. Just by the looks of it, I almost think Norman might, might be a uh, Nancy. <laughs> um, um, it's kind of hard to tell, but I think it's a female just the way it's acting. Um, difficult one, if you want to keep it but not let it eat things, supplement its food. Give it some cucumbers or something that you don't want or you have extra of, zucchinis or something like that. <laughs> and then maybe it will be, usually people have hundreds of zucchinis and they love those. Otherwise, um, if you don't want it in that same location, pack the burrows with pea gravel. Hmm. So it can't, and those burrows go deep, maybe 20 foot, so you have to use a lot of pea gravel. And then it was discourage her to move to another location um, other than your yard. Okay, interesting. You think it's a her simply by its behavior, which was standing still in one spot? Well, the males usually don't answer more that. Not. Don't answer that. <laughs> that was rhetorical. <laughs> <laughs> that was rhetorical. Okay, uh, earlier in the pathologically, show. Pathologically, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> earlier in the show, Jeff. Gave